Hello friends, this is the weekly announcements that you would have heard had you been in church on Sunday, March 29th. All of these announcements are, uh, are posted below this video so that you can uh, look at them again, figure out what I'm talking about, uh, or click the connections, uh, whatever the case may be. So here we go. As of this moment, thanks be to God, we know of no one in the parish who's in the hospital, and we know of no one connected to the parish who's been directly affected in their bodies, in their health, uh, with the uh, coronavirus. So undoubtedly, that circle will get smaller and smaller. Undoubtedly, we will have people directly touched. But as of this moment, we continue uh, to be sheltered from that particular storm. There are devotionals that many of you use on your daily walk with God, and those are still available. We have a number of Christ in our home devotionals that we can mail to you. Just call Suzanne or email us, and uh, we'll send them out. When we run out, we're out. But now we have a big stack of them. Those of you who use daily bread, we have a big stack of those too. But you can also get daily bread as a free app on your phone or on your computer. So uh, we'll post a link to that. Augsburg Fortress has a app for the uh, small catechism, for Luther's small catechism. It's free and it's lovely. You want the Augsburg Fortress one. Concordia's is fine too, but you want the Augsburg Fortress one. It may be, depending on how long this lasts, that our next study is on the small catechism. Uh, when you download it, you'll be asked if you want to upgrade to the study guide version. You do. It's $1.99. If you don't have $1.99, we'll figure out how to get you that $1.99, but you definitely want to upgrade to the study guide and to the, to, the, uh, to the study version. There are a number of us now who have signed up for a free course that is offered by Yale University. Not only is it offered by Yale, it is their most popular course. And here's the cool part. You can take it now online for free hard to do better than Yale's most popular course for free. It's called The Science of Well-Being, uh, and it's about being happy. It's about choosing how we feel given the circumstances in our lives. There's stuff there that we'll agree with. There's stuff there that we'll wonder about. But it would be fun to agree and to wonder together, don't you think? Anyway, there's a link below. Sign in. Sign on. Uh, a word about Sunday school. Each week, uh, the, uh, early in the week, the Sunday school materials for the coming Sunday are being mailed, snail mailed, to our children. Uh, we mailed them out to, uh, it was 85 kids, something like that, some wondrous number uh, this last week. Uh, and then uh, on, on Sunday or on the weekend, there will be a lesson that is posted, and uh, that lesson is available, uh, and you can look at that if you want to. There is also an opportunity, every week I give the children uh, a task, uh, a project to do. Uh, and if you go back to previous weeks uh, of the Sunday School curricula, click the Sunday School tab on the top of the website and go back to previous weeks, you can see the artwork uh, of some of our beautiful children uh, thinking about, praying about, learning these lessons uh, in their bones. We have the prayer list back up. The yellow sheets are back up, uh, they're online now. We have stripped them of all identifying information. We've stripped them of family names, we've stripped them of, of, uh, of particular nursing homes. We've done our absolute best to make this safe up online so that no nefarious people uh, can misuse that list for their own criminal endeavors. Uh, but if you, uh, if you wanna continue the discipline that we have all had for the last 20 years uh, of praying together for people in our parish, that is now available to you again. Click the prayer list tab on the top of the website. Here is one that I've been thinking about. We're going to be celebrating Easter. From the moment I'm doing this video, it is 16 days away. And almost certainly, we won't be gathering together in the sanctuaries of our beloved congregations. So how are we going to celebrate Easter? How are you going to keep Easter? 
If we were quarantined at Christmas time, the kids would know that it was Christmas. You've got a tree, you've got presents, you've got stockings, you've got Christmas carols on the radio or being played in your house. The kids would have Christmas even if we couldn't gather together for public worship. How are you going to do Easter? What are you going to do in your home to get them and yourselves ready? We're probably not going to gather here. You're probably not going to have a big meal with all of your family assembled. So what are you going to do? There's a link below if you would click that and start listing your ideas, how you're going to keep Easter in your family, how you're going to make it precious, how you're going to make it meaningful for your children. We'd be grateful. And then we're going to take your ideas and the ideas of all of your brothers and sisters and we're going to compile them into a list so that we together can think through how we want to celebrate this most precious of our holy days. Please join me in that. You're going to be getting an email from the church uh, with, uh, that solicits your opinion about our website. Uh, we are in the process, we were in the process before all this happened, uh, of changing our website, of making it more functional, more responsive, easier to navigate. That process is continuing uh, even while we uh, work with the creaky one we've got now. So that email is really from church. Uh, if you would click that link and give us ideas, things that you like about the current site, things that you wish it did better, and things you are hoping about, uh, hoping for, we'd be grateful for that. Two last things. If you're connected to a child that needs a Bible, it would be our honor to give that child a Bible. There is a link below where you can click and fill out a form and we'll make that happen. If you need a Bible, we can get you a Bible. We can loan you a Bible. We can buy you a Bible. We can tell you where you can go online to use a Bible easiest online is a place called Bible Gateway. Bible Gateway has 150 different versions of the Bible that you can search and that you can read for free. But if you want a physical Bible, the comfort of having that, it would be our honor to help you make that happen. Those are the announcements as far as I know them. I wish you God's grace and peace. Bye-bye.